This video is the project of how I put this fence up in this yard. It was a chain link fence that sucked and I hated it. And now I have this amazing fence that I absolutely love. Chain link coming down, all of this going up and hurting my back, which really sucks. Don't recommend doing all of this by yourself. Jump down in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe while you're down there. All right, so we're doing a couple things today. We have got to get this chain link down and I wanted to give you a quick tour of the plans in the future. Maybe almost even as a video to look back on as like, whoa, it was like that. And then in the future, hopefully it'll be like, whoa, we've come a long way. So I'm gonna flip this around and I'm gonna show you not only the fence project that we've got to get done somewhat today, really in the next couple days, uh, but also the plans, at least for the garden side of the yard. I guess last night I was trying to show you guys the yard and my plans for the yard and I recorded a time lapse instead of a video. But I put I recorded a series of time lapse yesterday trying to get B roll and all kinds of stuff. So, uh, you know, it just happens. Sometimes roll with it. All right, so garden side of the yard, I am planning to leave all of this space just empty, which will be nice. The fence will basically re replicate where the chain link is. But I'm going to put a few more raised beds in here and some of them uh, our full sun like this one and that one, but some of them get shaded, partial shade from our lovely willow tree. Beautiful. And I don't want to trim it back any more than I have to, but I'd like to get some more crops in here, so we'll do that. Then this will all be um, raised beds. And in the corner here, what I'm planning to do is actually have the six- Set fence straps on the forefoot and have a few different compost boxes. And our neighbors who we really like in these houses here can drop their kitchen straps into the compost very easily, which is super nice. As you can see, there are a lot of posts. Um, and because the slats are actually gonna go horizontal across rather than pickets that go vertical. And so you have to actually space them every six feet instead of every eight feet-ish. It kind of depends what you do with the vertical, but you have to do six feet because that's as long as the fence pickets are. So makes it a little trickier. You did have to dig around this power line, which I think it kind of goes here. So this hole was a little tricky. Um, but yeah, looking good. And the rain is actually gonna save us a little bit of water effort once we pour concrete. And then we'll cut here and we'll take an angle to keep the tree on the outside and we'll do some landscaping on the outside of the yard there. Part of that was I didn't wanna dig into the roots of the tree to put a fence up. And part of it is I really don't like the bottom of this tree that much. And so I figured I'd put it on the outside of the yard, do some landscaping, and that should look super nice, I think. Um, plus just not having a squared off box fence kind of feels good to me. Like I like the angle thing. And the other thing is we've just got to take this fence down. So I pulled all of these little tabs out that go on these crossbars um, that basically keep the chain link from falling off the fence. It just ties them up there. Uh, there's my concrete. Luckily I tarped it because it seriously, it rained so much. I'll show you this wheelbarrow here for how much it truly rained. But yeah, I got to pull all of this out, dig all the holes for the side yard. I got all the holes dug for the entire back long part of the fence, all the posts set. So here's all the lumber, uh, some framing. These are all the pickets and we're actually doing horizontal. So, you know, the fence at the end of the day will look horizontal like that. I'm really kind of frustrated that we have the power to the house running through where I basically need to replace this post. So I think what I'm actually gonna do is replace the post out here where this green line is and shift the fence down just a bit. So that should work pretty well for me. already got most of the posts set but this last bag of concrete will be quite the accomplishment because honestly that will mean the last big heavy thing I have to move the rest of it here is just tedious um, getting boards on measuring things making sure things are right building the gates simple things like that that are not as physically exhausting so here's to the last 60 pound bag all right, coming in on the VO later because I shot some B-roll and didn't explain this. So basically I tied a string to the posts on the corners and then use that as a guide for setting your posts. 
Also use the pickets to make sure that you're digging the holes in the right spot, which I did not do, and you can now see I had to redig several holes. And that's your pro tip for making sure everything's plump and square. Okay, so a couple things. We are using this um, Bear Premium waterproof stain and sealer. I got it in the slate, which is supposedly gray, but it's black, and I wanted black, so that's what I'm using. It's um, a gallon of this is like 50 bucks right now, so I'm trying to not spill any of it and waste any of it because that's kind of expensive uh, if I have to keep buying a bunch of it. Also, check this out. Look at this cool hat. I got this hat from um, one of my favorite YouTubers and it's part of his Photography Lives Forever brand, which I just think is kind of cool, so I had to buy it. And really enjoying this hat. It's black, this is black. I've got painting shorts on, they're black and all of that just because I really don't want to ruin any clothes. And so easy clothes to wash if it gets something black on it, no big deal. Everyone's mowing, everyone's out doing stuff. So here I am staining, painting, whatever. It is kind of satisfying to see it go from like bare wood to like all black. And I think it's gonna look really nice once the fencing is completely up. And I, mean, I keep saying that, but like seriously, I'm so freaking pumped. It's gonna look great. I'm just so actually genuinely stoked about it. So so the other thing I'm doing, I'm only doing the two insides and then the outside where the boards go on and everything that faces the inside of our yard, I'm not doing right now because I don't wanna run out of this and then have to run to the store. What I wanna do is just keep working all day as much as possible. I think that was a good call because I'm most of the way done and I have- One, two, three, four about 10 posts left, 10 posts left. Lots of T's, get your consonants kids. Yeah, so I'm just like trying to make sure this gallon lasts and gets me through everything I need to be able to put the boards on. Oh, and I gotta actually also show you the latches that I put on the gate that I didn't document at all. Um, and one of them, I actually like made the gate too tight. So I had to like shave off some of it and you can make fun of me in the comments, but whatever. Also, I got a little sunscreen in my eye, so. And it's just really, it's just really nice out today, so I couldn't not try to wrap this up, try to get this stain on, and really try to make sure that this fence can be up, done, usable, enjoyable backyard. The puppy can be free again, which he is definitely, he doesn't know he's looking forward to it, but he's looking forward to it. Oh, <laughs> one thing too, this morning I, <laughs> I walked up to the garden and I was just checking to see how the cauliflower was doing. And I noticed that a little bit of the hay or straw had been pulled back. And I think a cat probably ripped out one of my cauliflower and then pooped in the spot that the cauliflower was. So um, this is why I'm a dog person. So thanks for that. I'm really hoping it wasn't a neighbor's dog, but that is always also possible. Okay, so as you can see, I did a few things also extra to the fence. Put in these little bubbles. I got one here and then one that's way back there by the front gate. So Monroe can still see people, um, but he doesn't necessarily have access to them. And mostly I put those in so that he's not jumping and pushing on the fence and scratching at it and digging and stuff. Um, it gives him kind of a, a focus point. We can still smell things and feel things and whatnot. And so far he has absolutely loved them. It's been up for uh, three or four days. He had to try to figure him out a little bit, but once he got him figured out, loved him a ton. Don't you, buddy? You like him? He does. The other thing that I put in are these uh, down lights, and they're solar powered. They actually charge up for like 
I mean, whatever, they charge up all day, but then it lasts about 10 hours, which is pretty cool. And I'll throw a link for the dog bubbles and these in the description so you can check those out if you're interested. Even if you already have a fence and you're just looking for cool ways to enhance your fence, excellent way to do that. Okay, so finally have the fence totally done, thank goodness. So I had almost finished everything and I was doing the last bit of stain on the black and I waited a couple days for some of the posts to dry out just a little bit and I was playing fetch with the puppy and my back was like Ugh! probably from eight days of taking down a chain link fence putting up a fence by myself um which I don't recommend because then I spent about five days flat on my back and so now finally a couple weeks later I was able to get this all done feeling good again whatever and uh, I'm gonna have a garden update soon because we have some potatoes, kale and cauliflower, peppers even, everything's looking nice. So I don't wanna spoil that, but that video will be coming soon. And so if you're interested in seeing out what's going on in the garden and how this fence has enhanced the garden area, definitely you want to subscribe. You wanna like this video and that way YouTube will go, hey, that person likes these videos and we'll throw them your way whenever I post a new one. So. Uh, lots of good stuff coming your way and I'll just say this one last thing if you are gonna put up a fence don't do it by yourself anyway I'll see you later have a good one